Hey there, welcome to this tutorial and review of Square Invoices. If you are a freelancer, small business owner, or just need a simple way to build clients, Square Invoices could be your go-to. It's part of a Square ecosystem known for payment processing, and it's free to use with some awesome features. You also have like a paid plan, by the way. But yeah, today I will show you how to set up and how you can use Square Invoices, walk you through a real-world example, and wrap up with pros and cons review. Let's get started. Now, the first thing that you must do, of course, is you must create an account and log into your dashboard. Like I said before, you can start on a free plan and you can upgrade to a paid plan. The main difference between these two plans is basically on the tax commission that Square is going to take for each invoice or for each payment. Okay, so if you, for example, find yourself making a lot of these payments, you might want to consider switching to your paid plan. But yeah. Now, the first thing that I recommend you do is you need to click on this button to get in approved here. So you must, you know, give some details about your business and about your identity. Okay, so just click on start here and just proceed giving some details. Now, after you have done this, I basically want you to go to the main dashboard and I want you to look for the invoices and payments tab. And I want you to click on it and let's go to actually invoices overview and we can create a new invoice by clicking on this button here. Now, let's dive actually into a use case. Let's say that you are a freelancer graphic designer who just finished a $500 logo project for a client. Here's how you should invoice that client. The first thing we need, of course, is to create the details for our customer. So let's click here. And if it's a recurring customer, I, I recommend that you create a profile for him by clicking on this button here. After you have provided the necessary details, just click on save here. And now we're just going to add the details of the work that we did for this client. You can leave this message blank or you can write it with AI. Now, it is important to add our item. This is what's going to be reflected in our invoice. So let's, for example, select, I don't know, logo display. And from here, you have a couple of different options. You can use a one-time item, which is going to be called logo display, or you can create a new library item. I find that this option is going to be very useful, especially when you're selling physical goods, such as teasers, jeans, or any other physical stuff, where you have like a serial number and you want to update your stock. Okay, but for, for this kind of work, I'm just going to keep it to use one time item. Let's select the quantity, which is this one, and the price is going to be $500. Now, something that you can do, of course, is you can add like a discount, a custom discount, which can be like a percentage or like an amount. And something that you can also do is add a shipping fee or a service charge. So let's say, for example, that I want to create a new one, and this is going to be called shipping fee, and that's going to be called, I don't know, uh, 10 amount dollars for example we can add this here now as you can see i have nothing in my taxes because i haven't actually set my account properly in terms of the country and things like that okay but after you have done this this is going to be fill in without a problem now one of the most important features in an invoice is actually the due date which is basically the amount of time that your customer has in order to pay this bill in order to pay this invoice okay I recommend you keeping it to, I don't know, to seven days maybe or to 14 days, okay? Because one, one day is actually too little and maybe he's not going to be able to pay it. So yeah, you can also select the different payment methods that your client can accept, credit the car, uh, bank transfer, so on, so on, and also different payments options. After you're ready, just click on preview. And if you're happy with it, you can just click on send. Once it's sent, you can track your invoice in the dashboard. You will see if it, if it has been sent, viewed, or paid. Square sends automatic reminders for overdue invoices, which saves you from chasing clients. Now, something that you can also do when your client has finally paid, you can actually see basically the transaction to your bank account by clicking in transactions. And you're going to see here all the different estimates in, in terms of when the money is going to arrive to your account and the amount of the transaction. Something that I like about Square too is the fact that you can create reports of your sales and also your invoices, okay? So if you just come to the report section and you go to sales summary, you can specify a certain start date and an end date and Score is going to create a report for you, okay? Lastly, I just want to remind you that you can modify the look and the aesthetic and the branding of your invoices by just coming to the settings section by coming to account and settings and basically you want to come to business about and then you want to select branding and you want to update your logo and your colors basically so just to recap the pros and cons the pros is that it's free to use with no monthly fees you just pay the transaction fees it's actually super easy to set up even if you're not tech savvy it integrates seamlessly with square pos and other square tools it has a great mobile app 
you have unlimited, unlimited invoices and clients even on the free plan, and it supports multiple payment methods from cards to ACH. Now, the cons, in my opinion, are the high transaction fees, like, for example, 2.9% plus 30 cents for all payments. They can add up very quickly. I'm also missing some advanced features on the free plan. You need the plus plan for this. And this is not ideal for larger business needing complex invoicing, okay? But yeah, I think the score is actually a fantastic tool for freelancers and small businesses who want a simple, professional way to build clients. The free plan is hard to beat, and if you're already using the score, it's a no-brainer. You can also try some other options like Stripe, which is what I use personally. Give it a try at squareup.com. It doesn't have a cost to store, and just sign up and search your first invoice. And thank you for watching. Let us know how it goes in the comment. Thank you so much, guys.